You may have heard in the news how central banks around the world, including the U.S. Federal Reserve, have printed record amounts of money during the health crisis. You may have also heard how global inflation is soaring with the flood of money. Now we're hearing that central banks, one after another, are raising interest rates in an attempt to fight inflation. One thing we don't hear much about is how central banks are buying gold and why. In fact, while central banks are printing more money than ever, they're also buying more and more gold. And for good reasons. Let's take a look. As a whole, central banks added 463 metric tons of the yellow metal to their reserves in 2021. That represents a jaw-dropping 82% jump over the amount they purchased in 2020. That is huge! What is going on here? And it doesn't stop there. Goldman Sachs is projecting an all-time record in central bank gold buying in 2022. In a recent interview with Bloomberg, Goldman Sachs Global Head of Commodities Research said he projects a perfect storm for gold. Central bank demand up somewhere around 750 tons this year. An all-time record. Why are they buying so much gold? Luckily for us, the World Gold Council recently posted an article on why central banks buy gold. One of gold's primary roles for central banks is to diversify their reserves. When it comes to diversification, the central banks are including gold. Are you? One of the reasons the central banks feel that they need to increase their gold position is because of all the money being printed. This increase in money supply may be necessary to stave off economic turmoil, but at the cost of devaluing the currency. Gold, by contrast, is a finite physical commodity whose supply can't easily be added to. As such, it is a natural hedge against inflation. One reason for diversification is to lower risk. The central banks believe gold carries no credit or counterparty risks. It serves as a source of trust in a country and in all economic environments, making it one of the most crucial reserve assets worldwide, alongside government bonds. Money printing, inflation, and lowering risk. That brings us to gold's inverse relationship with the U.S. dollar, another major reserve asset, is an added element to its appeal. When the dollar dips in value, gold typically rises, enabling central banks to protect their reserves at times of market volatility. Essentially, the central banks want to decrease their risk in dollar reserves with gold. That makes sense. Gold has been a key component in the financial reserves of nations for centuries. It's clear. The goal to maintain gold doesn't appear to show any sign of shrinking. In fact, it's growing. Central banks now hold more than 35,000 metric tons of the metal, about a fifth of all the gold ever mined. In summary, these are some of the reasons why central banks are buying gold. Effective Portfolio Diversifier Inflation Hedge No Default Risk Inverse Relationship with the U.S. Dollar Performance During Times of Crisis 
long-term store of value. One of the strongest indicators of gold entering into a demand cycle is the increase in central banks buying gold. A basic rule of economics is as demand increases for items of limited supply, price tends to go up. The truth is, central banks have been net buyers of gold for the last 12 years. And as we stated, Goldman Sachs is now projecting gold buying by central banks to hit all-time records in 2022. Do you think it might be time for retirement savers to take a cue from the central banks? Book a one-on-one -on -one web conference with the Augusta education team so that you can learn more. Hey guys, Joe Montana here with my man Devlin Steele. He and his team at Augusta Precious Metals are constantly putting out new information to keep you ahead of the game. Click subscribe now and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. You'll be glad you did.